The Kia Rio five-door hatchback has been out for several months in Canada, and Kia as a brand has been executing record sales month after month as Canadians turn to Kia, not just for their value story, but also their good looks. So why would Kia bring us all the way down to beautiful Arizona to test drive the Kia Rio sedan? Isn't it just the Kia Rio now with a trunk? Well, apparently not. This new product could appeal to a whole different market. We uh, launched the Rio 5-door version late last year. Incredible combination of styling, performance and technology. And we're able to bring to market a 4-door sedan version, which actually uh, goes after that uh, demographic, people interested in a, in a sedan. There are consumers out there who recognize that the Kia brand offers incredible value. You get all the bells and whistles of higher end brand, uh, all packaged into, uh, into a, a lower priced vehicle without making any sacrifices. So they feel that this Rio sedan can appeal to a different market and they changed up the look as well. The front has unique grille, headlights and bumper differentiating it from the five door hatchback. Now here's something that you only found on premium cars even just five years ago. Watch this fold inside mirrors. It's only available on the top model that we have here, but that's really great if you live in a busy area with a lot of traffic or when you take the car through the car wash. Now around the back of this sedan, obviously it's got a trunk now, but the one thing it doesn't have is a handle to lift up the trunk. You have to use the key fob or the release from inside the car. You'll also notice the backup camera on this top end model. Now the space inside the trunk is very usable. Look, we've got some overnight cases in here, some camera equipment. There's still lots of space. So this Rio not only is good value, it's actually quite functional. Well, we'd like to uh, appeal on the entry level for uh, consumers interested in a very attractive price point and uh, fuel economy uh, with a well-rounded offering of uh, features on the vehicle. And on the higher end, we have consumers that are maybe downsizing into uh, um, a higher end Rio and that they don't want to compromise on any of the functionality, styling, or uh, technology that uh, they may be experiencing in their current vehicle. Now, I had a chance to drive the five-door Rio hatch recently, and I was amazed by the level of equipment as standard. The thing is that this sedan is actually cheaper to start with, at 13795 but it hasn't been decontented. What you get are power windows, power door locks, air conditioning, USB connectivity for your radio. You also get satellite radio and steering wheel mounted radio controls for 13795. So you've got that inexpensive Rio sedan. What they decided to do with this car is give you the option of going way up and loading it up with luxury features. Top model just around $21,000 at four year money, soft touch dash, automatic climate control, satellite navigation if you want it and also a backup camera in there you get the sliding armrest you also get leather seats a heated steering wheel the very first subcompact car to have a heated steering wheel so you can really pick your reel basic or go full out it's going to be interesting to see how many people opt for this full luxury model I think what really sets this car apart from most of the others in the subcompact class, with the exception of the Accent, of course, because it has the same engine, is the 1.6 liter direct injection four cylinder. It does so many things right. First and foremost, it's a very drivable engine at all speeds. In the city, it's got enough torque to get you up and away from a stoplight or a stop sign, and it cruises and passes nicely on the highway. We've had hours in this car today, driving all around the Arizona countryside, in the city, through mountain passes, it's done lots of things very, very well. Now this engine has won one of Ward's 10 best engines, and it's really a leader in the class in terms of fuel efficiency. So you get a nice package here with this car of efficiency, dynamics, and just a real cruiser if you want it to be. In addition, because we have the top end model here, it's got 17 inch wheels, which really makes the car planted. It's smooth and quiet. If you're looking for a subcompact car with all the amenities that this one has, you don't want to spend a lot of money, you want to save money on fuel, I think that the uh, Kia has a lot of things cornered. With well, a starting price at just under $14,000 for this Rio sedan and moving all the way up to roughly $21,000 for the fully loaded luxury model that we have here, this is going to appeal to a wide range of Canadians. The real star of the show is what's under the hood. The 1.6 liter direct injection engine, amazing efficiency and 138 horsepower 
delivering great torque and drivability. It's the same engine as the Hyundai Accent, but this might be a better looking package. Last year, Kia sold 65,000 cars for 2011. Their target for 2012 is 80,000 cars in Canada. And I bet you this Rio sedan will be a big part of their sales. In the market for a small car, we have them all on our website at drivingtelevision.com.